Howdy everyone. So, today I think it's time to start a new campaign. Um, and for this one, I want to take a different approach than I've taken for previous ones, where I'm not going to have a base. I'm going to try to avoid having a base at all possible, if at all possible, and just keep everything in my car. And just travel around nomad mode. Uh, and see how that goes, because I never really tried that style. Um, and I think I'll play in winter also, because uh, I've never experienced winter in the game. And I think that, you know, trying to keep warm as an additional challenge will at least make it somewhat interesting. Um, so first things first, I need to mess with my survivor settings. Uh, it looks like I already pre-did these for the game, so basically I'm going to have a very low number of survivors that spawn except for the preset unique ones, which I'll allow. It's a confusing setting because off means that you do get preset survivors, but whatever. Um, so they'll be like, you know, the guards at the prison or uh, some cops in the West Point police station, I believe. Stuff like that. Because I think I'd make it a little more interesting as I'm traveling around, like trying to avoid getting shot in the face. Uh, chance to spawn with gun. I made 0%, so nobody has a gun because I'm. Unless they're a preset survivor with a gun. It's nothing worse than getting shot in the face with a shotgun repeatedly early in the game. Uh, no raiders. I'll give them a 20% chance to be hostile, so one out of five survivors that I run across are going to be hostile to me. Uh, and I made their friendliness be mean. It's the second worst one. Um, so that if I do want them to join my group, it'll be difficult to do so. Because um, I want to not have a survivor group this time, but I think it would be fun to like run across them. Kind of cool. Uh, turned off infinite ammo. So they'll run out of ammo if they have guns. And I turned on their hunger and thirst. So we'll apply and accept. Now, okay, I want to make a new custom sandbox. And I'll spawn in... I just did Muldra. I just did Riverside. Rosewood, yeah. I'll spawn in West Point. Let's see. Alright, so I'll load my settings from my previous campaign because uh, I kind of liked the car and grouping settings that I had. But I may bump the zombie population up a little bit. 0 0.25 instead of 0 0.2. You know what? We'll even go as high as 0 0.3. Uh, and the rest of this looks alright. The peak... I wonder if you make the peak zero, it's going to decrease the number of zombies. Maybe that's why I was finding any zombies last time. I don't know. So we'll set that to one. And hope that that means that it'll stay constant. Uh, respawn hours, I want to make that a little bit shorter actually. I think that's 72 hours, so in three days the zombies will come back that I've killed. And I'll actually, oops, wrong one. I'll actually set that to one so that all of the, all of the zombies come back after three days. Um, redistribute, that's fine. Travel distance, I actually like the group size, that's pretty good. A thousand! Groups don't find, form inside buildings or forest zones. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> so I could make this group into a thousand. That's. I may try that someday once they get their performance a little bit better. Uh, and let's actually bump the separation down a little bit so that they're closer together and increase their radius. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Uh, zombie lore. Do I want them to be tough? Yeah. 
make them a little bit harder to kill. Or do I? Nah, let's just make them normal. And a little bit smarter with a long memory. I'm going to turn their hearing down a little though. No, I'm not. I'm going to leave that the way it is. I got their sight turned all the way down. They still seem to spot me from really far away though. It's weird. And yeah, make them night active. I think that'd be good. Uh, check my vehicle settings. These were pretty good actually. I really liked them in that last campaign. Okay. Uh, I want to bump the XP multiplier up because I'm not going to be using any of the base skills really, like carpentry or anything. But I do want to train my weapon skills. Like I think that will be my main goal for this campaign, is like train as many as my, of my weapon skills as high as possible. And the last one, it took like nine, eight hundred zombies to get blade seven. So if I increase the XP multiplier, by 45%, whatever it is. I'll have to kill 45% less zombies. So that'll put me at like 350 zombies to get to Blade 7. Maybe I want to make that a little bit higher. Go up to 19. Alright, we'll, we'll see how that does. Yeah, free trait points. I always give myself two free trait points just because I like to. Cool. Um, loot. I want to turn down the loot rarity. We will make melee weapons be common. I want food to be super rare. Because I've never had a food problem. And I kind of want to have a food problem for this one. So we'll see. Um, we'll turn down the number of guns. So when I find guns, I'm just so tempted to use them. Other, what even is other? Oh, that's probably the paint. That's why I found so much paint in the warehouses. And these random oh, time before corpse removal. I want them to be gone in 72 hours because then new zombies will spawn there. Have helicopter often. Because I'm a sadist that way. Nature. Yeah, that all looks good. World. Okay, so I want to start like six months later. So I'll do January 9th. And we'll say that that was six months after the apocalypse. Alright. Uh, loot respawn. I'm actually going to turn that on. Do I want to do a week or a month? Because I don't want it to be a race against weapon durability. Which seemed to be a problem last time. We'll do it every week, every seven game days. Loot will not respawn in zones that have been visited in this number of hours. Six hours, sure. Okay, food spoils slow, refrigeration's good. Now if it's six months after the apocalypse, the water and the electricity should both be off. But I'll leave that just, I don't know. I'll leave that the way it is, see if that actually shakes out for the game. Alright, two hour game days. Alright, I think we're good. Let's save these settings. Custom six months. So I'm probably going to use these settings for my multiplayer server when I, when they finally release. 
build 41 for multiplayer. I'm actually going to go with the athletic and strong build again, because that was pretty good. But I'm going to change from a firefighter to a lumberjack. But we're going to go axe. We're going to axe them all question. And I kind of want outdoorsmen, so maybe I could take a perk to offset it. Do not want that. Well, I guess we'll do slow reader. I don't really want to read books in this game anyway. And that'll offset outdoorsmen. Cool. Alright, Sharon Rodriguez. You ready for this? I don't like Sharon Rodriguez. All right, Philip Rogers, you ready for this? <laughs> Mr. Rogers, okay, I'll take it. Put a long sleeve t-shirt on with long socks and shoes. And add some more clothing if we can. Give him a trucker hat. All right, Philip Rogers, let's do this. This is how you die. And I'm actually going to really try to keep this guy alive. Because I want to train all those weapon skills. Which requires you to be alive if you're going to train your skills. No more Mr. Rogers clones. Well, we spawned in a nice house. That's pretty good. Bunch of rotten shit in the fridge. The power's still on. Some water bottles. Yeah, I guess... I guess, um... Those settings were, you know, the power still stays on after you stop, start, even if it's six months after the apocalypse. Which, you know, I haven't gotten started yet, so we're going to redo this, and we're going to change that setting so that the power and the water are off immediately. Alright, let's do this real quick. Spawning in West Point. No. I wanted a custom sandbox. Spawning in West Point. Custom six months. World. The water and electricity are off instantly. Save these. Next. Pick my traits again. I had slow reader and outdoorsman position, and that was a lumberjack. Willie Thompson. Okay, I got a better role this time for the character. That's a real character name right there, Willie Thompson. Alright, long socks and shoes, and I'll give you a hat too. Let's try this again. There was no hope of survival. This is how you die. Again, gonna try to keep this guy alive. 
Especially with a name like Willie Thompson. Can't be cloning that guy. Hmm. This time I spawned with a car right outside. Ooh, I'm in a more densely populated area. You can hear the house alarms going off already. There's a key for the fucking car out there. This is perfect. I actually wanted that kind of car. Nice. That was a really lucky find. Nope. Let's see what we got in the kitchen. A meat cleaver. Why not? Take a bowl with me. Oh, this is extremely rare food. Look at all this food. Take a frying pan too. Is there a zombie outside the window? And some rice. Search the bedrooms. Uh, do I have to carry around this stupid ass alarm clock again to know what time it is? <laughs> There's a fucking 9mm in here. Is that weapon's to be rare? Grab a pencil. Well, this is kind of a bust. But not really a bust because I got a car key. Oh boy. There's a lot of zombies around here. Uh, does this thing have gas? Nope. Well, I gotta get out of here and find gas. Take care of that zombie. There's a bunch wandering over to that house over there, so we're gonna go this way. Nice, it's six months later, the world's all nice and eroded. It's cool. I'm cold, too. Huh. <laughs> the temperature thing will be an interesting problem to solve. Alright, well now that I'm indoors, is that making me warmer? Guess so. I don't know what temperature it is because I don't have a digital watch. I could start a fire now. <laughs> Just burn the whole house down. Or burn the whole town down. Do I care about making metal containers? Probably not, but maybe I'll do some trapping. I really need to find a bag. Is there a bag in here? Alright, well that's that. Check this next house. I also need gas for my car. Looked like it was in pretty good condition too. Do I really need to take this gun? No. I'm gonna resist. Books aren't really going to do me much good. But we'll see. I don't need that book. Spiffo! <gasps> this is a sign that Spiffo has blessed my campaign. 
Yeah, no clothing I can put on. I need a jacket. Maybe I can find a zombie with one. Looks like the neighborhood goes over there. Oops, I hit the wrong button. Oops. There we go. Now die. It's pretty cool, all the little trees everywhere. The world's all busted up. Well, looks like we see what happened here. Suicide pact. Real bust on these houses so far. I still need a weapon. I still need some clothes. <laughs> Heard this one broke in through the window. <laughs> Fucked up though, the long johns. Oh well. We're done with this house anyway. Sounds like there's a house alarm over there. It may actually help me out. Draw all the zombies in the area over there. I'll probably find gas cans in car trunks. Screwdriver. Are so good. I want to write something down at some point. I don't know. Sweater. Might be better than nothing. Another pistol. Has a mag. Let's take the mag out of it. God damn it. Let's take the mag out of it. Pull it out. Throw it out. I'll keep the mags for my nine. Which I can't even use yet. Uh, what happened to my meat cleaver? A uh, bunch of shit on the ground. There's a zombie in here with me. It's gonna take forever to kill her without opening the door. She got a house key on her. There's a worm in the fridge! Hey, how do you get in there? Some more food. I need to find a bag and a weapon more than anything. And some gas. How's the zombie look, population looking on this street? Still manageable. Looks like they all got drawn. Off to that house alarm.
We're doing the pet hit, push them over and then hit them in the head. Until we get a real weapon. Jacket. Better than nothing. Oh wait, no. It's all fucked up because I just... Killed the zombie that was wearing it. <laughs> well, my skills seem to be leveling up pretty good though. I got two in short blade already. Two Zeds in here. I climb through the window, we just use the door. Outside, though. Nothing. Golf club. Take it. Catches my back. Get my long blunt going. <laughs> long blunt. How did I already drink all that water? Didn't I pick up three water bottles? Oh, that was in the other game. I don't have any water yet. First aid kit. Now I'm overweight. I'm carrying too much shit. Could go back and put some stuff in my car. What we got here? Nothing and nothing. I can wear a sweater and a jacket. Oh no, the sweater is a jacket. Water bottles. You know what, we're gonna put our rice back. That shit's heavy. Yep. Nothing in here either. Oh, did I search the bedrooms? I came in here and looked in that one. Hiking bag. And a jacket. Alright, now we're in business. Oh, and I can wear a sweater and a jacket. Yeah, nice. Alright, let's start throwing shit in our bag. Uh, this spiffo is going to stay with me forever now. It is, it is a sign. He's a good luck charm. Alrighty. And the frying pan. 
Now we're in business. And I got a leather jacket. So next order of business is going to have to be finding gas. Because once I have gas for that car, I can... Oh, there's a barbecue back there. I can go to the hardware store. Get all the weapons I need there. I wonder where I actually am on the map, though. That might be the school down there. There'll be cars down there. If it is. And where there's cars, there's gas. Is that my spawn house? is over there. Ah, tree! I never checked that van. It's my temperature. I need gloves. Cockroach. Tasty. Could use them for fishing, though. Yeah, it looks like the temperature thing kind of interesting. It's like I'm generating heat and that makes me less hot, or less cold. I see cars over here, so just avoid those zombies for now. Can't avoid this one though. Looks like he has a new hat though. Looks like I can put that vest on, just normal. Take your hard hat. Laundromat. Oh, I'm on the northern edge of downtown. I could actually walk to the hardware store from here. Or the gas station. Just remember where that car is. I could liberate the spiffos too. No, this is not a two hitter. None on the ground. There we go. Got one sneaking up behind. They got anything worth taking? Stock up on some food at the Spiffos. Oh my. There are quite a few of them around here. There's one inside. Uh, this might be a little dangerous, but worth it. We'll see. Let's see if I can draw any of them outside.
There we go. These golf clubs have a really long range on them. Wow. There's some already some dead zombies there? Is there a survivor in here? Damn, as soon as I attack them, all the rest of them here. Uh, and there's more closing in behind me. Um, I gotta come back to this place with a decent weapon. Great, now I'm gonna have a massive horde chasing me at all times because I ran. And I'm never gonna shake them. Gas. A mechanic. You know, you could help me shake him. Thanks, mechanic. Oh, I'm here. Let me take all your shit. Don't mind me. Got a gun if you try any funny business. Alright, we gotta do this fast. There's a lead pipe in here. <laughs> All these zombies that followed me in here. Oh yeah, he just took right off. Nice. Good job, mechanic. Throw this hammer on our belt. Golf club's no use to anyone. And I'll throw the meat cleaver back in my bag. Pharmacist. A doctor. Ah, you guys are badass. Good job. You want to take him out? Good job. So I'm note to self, there's a doctor in the pharmacy. In case I ever need doctor. I should stop engaging these guys and just walk past now that they're thoroughly distracted. Or dead. Yeah, mechanic, pharmacist, those are the preset ones. Isn't this a... ooh, digital watch. Thank you! Isn't this a two-handed weapon? It's not. I don't know, somebody's just blasting away. all the zombies to me and I'm gonna bring them into you fucking asshole uh, there's no way 
out of here. After the bank is the hardware store. I'm hoping to lose these guys. I got sneak run. And hope I lost them. Now oh, they're still fucking following me. This is not the hardware store. Here. Oh, there's a hostel around here somewhere though. God. Who are these fucking zombies? Don't leave me alone. Well, you know, there are other ways to skin a cat. Look at this guy's pants, man. Crazy pants. Kind of like them. Let's wear them. Oh, uh, well, well, I don't get bed really. Okay, yeah. they're crazy enough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Nice. Ridiculous pants. All right, there's a hostel around here somewhere. Let's get ourselves some weapons! Crowbar? I'll take it. Uh, and really I should save all the rest of my inventory for axes. I really need an axe. A hand axe. I have a saw already, right? Yep. Some duct tape. Fishing rod. I could go fishing. If I get a food problem. Which I don't seem to have yet. Never have enough hunting knives. I didn't want that screwdriver. set of tweezers either. No axe yet, huh? Am I taking tent pegs? Oh, I could try to make a tent. Do I have a box of nails yet? Yep. A pickaxe is technically an axe. trains your axe skills. Axe. I'll lose these extra weapons. Rover I'll keep just for my long blunt. I find a baseball bat. It's actually a good metalworking one. Yeah, my PvP got forced down again. They're around here somewhere. Let's go close this door. Bag's pretty full. Take this. I actually want to try the wood axe out. I don't think I've really used it that much yet. Axe. Uh, I need to drop ship my car.
Axe. Should be set for axes for a while. Right, I'm gonna have to go back to my car. Without getting gas, because I got too much shit. So, let's do it. Check these cars for gas, though. doesn't attract that zombie because I'm not really in any shape for fighting right now. My over-encumbered idiotness. Could do this in multiple trips the smart way. But you know, it's like bringing your bags in from the grocery store. Multiple trips are for the week. I'm gonna have to make multiple trips. I think the over encumbered walk speed actually is less than zombie speed. So this may turn ugly. Shop owner. What's up, shop owner? Yeah, I think that's why I turned off the preset survivors, is there's so many of them. And these guys are gonna get hungry and start wandering around and eating all the food. No, it looks like I'm still faster than zombies. My block. Yep. So my car will be in the driveway here. I can throw my shit in its trunk. Locked? This is my car. Locked? This is my car. There we go. Regular tire. Don't do that. Maxes, my crowbar, my wood axes, duct tape, wood glue. Why is this thing? Maybe it makes you transfer stuff faster or slower. And literally everything in here. Doing pretty good on tools, actually. At least tools that I want to have with me. Got 
let's see. Probably gonna need some fire supplies. Well, a saw will take care of that. And axes. I think I'll try to get out of town before sunset. Can't remember where the gas station is though. It's so a right down Main Street. Which will be good because it'll take me away from wherever that hostel was. Now I gotta go back to the hardware store. Or do I? Uh, you don't really need to. Got enough weapons for now. Need gas more. He really does swing faster. That's with a lumberjack. Couple more zombies. Now that I got a two hitter weapon, I'll actually take these guys on. These skills are leveling nice and fast, so these might be good settings. Oh, somebody in there with a shotgun. <laughs> I guess the shop owner has a shotgun. to visit that Spiffos. I should go visit that Spiffos. Oh, Katie's getting attacked. Before all these survivors get there and take all the food. All the loot respawns. So it's not really that much of a problem. A mayor and a bodyguard. Yeah, that's why I don't like the preset survivors. There's too many of them. the food market. Which I could search for some perishable food. Alright, things I'm going to need... Eh, fishing tackle maybe? Things I'm going to need as I drive around. There's a couple of these. I already have a saw. I don't need saws. I have to overcome my hoarding instincts. Maybe I'll start a garden somewhere. I have to overcome my hoarding instincts and not just take everything, because I'm not going to have a base to dump it in. Never have enough duct tape. Found that out last time. Wood glue for my axes. Shovel? Need a shovel to dig graves. Uh, not gonna be digging any graves. Use a metal sheet just to board up a house if I'm gonna sleep in it. Which, I also need a welding mask and a propane torch from here. I don't think I saw one when we were going through here before. just in case. I hear somebody fighting. Mm. 
There's no welding supplies in here. It's unusual. There's a zombie behind this door? Sort of. Food. Chips. Shotgun. And a baseball bat. So if I run across a hostile survivor, I'll actually have a gun I can use on them. And ammo for it. Seasonings are always good. And all this stuff's gonna be rotten. The mac and cheese though, mac and cheese is forever. Alright, now we're full up. So we should get back on track and really go get the gas for now, it's getting late. What's up, Katie? Just chilling over there. Beat down zombies. Managing yourself up. Being followed by a zombie. Can't have that. Wow, it really swings that axe fast. It's gonna be good. There's a skeleton in the street. <laughs> yeah, his skills are leveling real quick. Which I would want for a multiplayer server, like somebody within a day. Uh oh. I'm still being chased by this asshole? Oh. Unpack. Alright Bruce, you asked for it. This is your own fault. Great, now I set this off right near the police department, or the gas station that I want to go in. Well, let's go shoot them off down the street. This is why you shouldn't give me guns. Every time. I know Bruce was asking for it. Alright. Shoot off a few more down here. Snuck up on from behind. Alright, enough of this gun. No more guns. And we're gonna circle the block.
Bruce, what a dick. Fuck that guy. I knew a girl that would laugh uncontrollably if you said the name Bruce for whatever reason. She just thought it was hilarious. Still no gas can. I'm not gonna risk breaking into that car. Ah, oh, there's a guy with a military backpack. Oh, are there too many zombies around? Maybe. Do I want that backpack real bad? Yes. Damn, how do they know I'm here? Fucking zombies. Put my boots on. Put their boots on. Somebody out there shooting. Don't need these anymore. But this... Transfer everything in here. It's my good bag. It has a greater weight reduction. Oh, and I can't move while I'm doing it. Uh oh. Please don't eat me, zombie. I could break this animation with a push, but. Unless I have to. It's getting late. I don't want to risk breaking into these. Shouldn't have run. Now every zombie in a mile of radius will have heard me. Oh wow. I attracted quite a few of them with those shotgun blasts. <laughs> Weren't expecting that, were ya? Let's see if we can't get in the back. If there's a back door. Uh, no back door. Yes, good. Go follow those gunshots from whoever was a fucking idiot. And make a gas can out of that. Uh, not without power, I can't. Well, I could siphon it from other car other cars. There's a bathroom zombie in there. Having a couple extras won't hurt. It's not a bathroom. Well, let's see what we got. <laughs> Nothing worth taking. All 
Alright, well, well, you have a gas can. Can get some gas. From the cars that we find. One more hour until they become fully active. The zombies. So I kind of got to get a move on getting out of town here. Gloves. Oh, I like the urban camel pants actually. Their insulation is slightly better. But their wind resistance isn't. Not as thick as my lumberjack shirt either. I gotta wear insulation. So it is 23 degrees. That's pretty chilly. My temperature is doing all right though. All right, I need to get back on track. I need to get gas. Can't kick ass with zombies nearby, though. Ah, where are they all coming from? Oh, they're coming from when I attracted them all with a shotgun. Ooh. Man, this lumberjack perk is really something. He's swinging fast. Wow. Well, I'm already at halfway level 5 blade. Oh god. More of them. Well, fuck. Can't repair and hold still. Why is it still broken? The fuck? Uh, too many zombies. Now I'm being chased, and they're about to become active. I could sneak run. Fuck won't you repair this? You wasted all your wood glue? Piece of shit. Willie Thompson really disappoint me. Get a full tank of gas out of this one. See me yet? Let's see if I can get some more out. Oh. Well, now I gotta get back to my other car. Or my regular car. Real bummer about that axe. Oh, you can always baseball bat him. Got another axe in the car though. Let's see if there's any zombies around it. Nope. This is perfect timing. 2000, they just became active. And I'll be getting the fuck out of Dodge. In fact, I just want to transfer everything into this. Oh, 
I got supplies I could go fishing with. Maybe I'll go fishing. They said that they were working on the fishing interface nutrition. So I'll go try it out. It's winter. I'm getting cold. It's 21 degrees now. Yeah, because I'm not running around. I guess I'm getting cold. My hands are getting cold. My glove must have a a hole in it. Oh, and I have a cold? I'm sneezing now? Look at me sneezing like a motherfucker. What the fuck? Six, five sneezes at a time? Let's try to stock up on my water before we get the hell out of here. I've never gotten sick before, so this is this is new to me. Throw that in the trunk. Get another axe out. Wow, apparently. Oh, the battery's dead. Damn. I guess I'm going nowhere. And I'm sick and coughing. Well, does this... I don't have... anything to fortify these rooms with. Hmm. situation grows more dire by the minute. Supposedly, if you have a tissue in your hand, it'll make you not sneeze. Oh, shit. Well, let's put some distance. And I thought I saw some tissues in these houses, so I'll check them out. Does this bedroom have a window? Yes. It wasn't in this house, apparently. That's really ridiculous. Like, how do you get that sick? that fast that you're just constant barrage of achus and coughs oh, there's a tissue Equipped to mute sneezes and coughs. Well, let's see if it works. Does this bedroom have a window? Yes. It's a bit of a dangerous proposition unless I can find some planks. Me to camp camp out in there. It's getting kind of dark, so you know what? We're gonna hightail it back to the hardware store. 
I'm gonna camp out in the apartment right above there. Uh, I'm gonna go the other way. Because I set off that house alarm. So I'm gonna have to find a battery charger or a new heavy duty battery, so I should check that mechanic shop. In order to get that car working, but that's something I'll do for tomorrow. First I want to get to somewhere I can sleep just for the night. So far so good. Looks like he stopped sneezing. It's kind of severe allergic reaction or something. And they're all migrating over there. Try a sneak run. There's so many of them trying to follow me. Let's see how lucky we get. Hopefully there's not a hostel camped out in that upstairs. That would suck. Got a preset survivor with a fucking shotgun ready to blow you away as soon as you go up there. This is the food market. And I actually need some nails. Grab a saw. Got a ton of saws in here, I remember. So I can make some planks out of doors. Yeah, close off everything around the staircase. And there's apartments up here. First things first. Let's make some planks. Out of these chairs. Maybe. No planks. Give me a lot of carpentry though. So I think by the time I get through all these chairs, I'll have at least one plank. That's all I need, really. I got one already. That's all we need. Hopefully those gunshots don't wake me up. Barricade this door. That's what I need the plank for, so that the zombie won't break through and kill me in my sleep. And let's set my alarm for 0800. Try to go to sleep.
Damn. Well, hopefully they ran out of their ammo now. Something woke me up. Or did it? Nah, just crashed. Well, I guess that's good enough for one day. So I'm gonna continue on with that campaign. We'll see what happens when I try to, to uh, start it again.